Okay, well, I finally finished. <laughs> I'm starting to overwhelm you with all this stuff. If you see the report, you see there's like 200 some pages here. And you must have four or 500 sources. But that's how much is out there, you know, for people. And this is, you know, forget, I, I categorize it in uh, a couple of categories. First of all, you have, have the nonprofits and the state, local, and federal government programs. And then the second half is really what's happening on the internet. And they're both important. I think they're probably 50-50 about uh, particularly the business you want to start. Uh, but I would start, you know, besides, see, actual getting the magic, you know, $10,000 grant that you never have to pay back, that's tough. There is grant money in there, um, but it, it all depends. It could be for education and, and, and for certain kind of businesses and things like that. So look at those and they'll be in the first section. But I think the, uh, and then I, I list all the programs too. And, and there's a lot of business loans. And don't forget the loans are for people that can't get it anywhere else. So that's why if you go to a bank and they say no, and that's what most of us are like, because banks are for people who don't need money. <laughs> that's who they like to lend money to. People really need it, <laughs> they don't lend it to. So that's why these organizations are nonprofit and government offices that are set up to get money, to loan to small businesses who can't get it from banks. And some of these are low as 0% interest. So there's no way you're going to get a bank to give you anything at 0% interest. Yeah. Uh, so that's what I'm really trying to do is identify those things. But the other thing, I mean, to get help even preparing that loan or whatever you have to do, that's free of a, uh, also. So you don't have to go on Google. If you go on Google, you're going to get you know thousands and thousands of professionals who are going to have to charge you a lot of money because they're professional. <laughs> and these people do it for free. So go down, you see these nonprofit organizations that have, help small businesses like you and entrepreneurs that are trying to start something. They're for free. And the other person, they're under uh, the section three on research, mentoring, and counseling. That's the place where you, you, you find your local, I have your local small business development center. I would call the, them anyway, no matter what the heck you're going to do, just so you know they're there because they can solve Almost any kind of problem you got, you know, if it's a legal, if it's a financial problem, you know, wonder about a tax issue, a technology, anything like that. OK, uh, and, and so that's important. Uh, I have a couple of things that are special for you at the end that we'll talk about a little later. So hang on in this first video. And I have two videos, one that explains the business and, and, and this extra stuff I did. And, and then uh, the other video explains uh, all the uh, internet stuff I have, crowdfunding, peer-to-peer, -peer. and really what's important about that and crowdfunding, make sure you watch that because I show you how it's important to fail, you know, and, and you could fail so nicely and learn so much, you could get more customers failing, you know, that'll give you money than if you had a successful crowdfunding campaign, particularly for you like a service, all you need is customers. You don't really need business uh, loans or grants because just think of somebody said, yes, I want you to do $50,000 worth of interviews in the next six months and here's a check for it. You know, ah, that'll keep it going, right? Uh, so that's why a customer is probably more important. Uh, now, so you have the... Um, the government offices, the local, you know, uh, offices here that have money. Um, but the most in, in your area is really the federal and the state. So you go down to the uh, fourth item there, and it's a federal and state. And, you, you know, just check them out. Look at those headlines. I try to write the headlines to, to show you exactly what they're for. You know, and if they're of interest, then you click on them and find out more. But even if you say, oh, I probably don't you know, qualify for that. No, you can't think that way <laughs> because everything is flexible. Nobody knows what they have the rules, but rules are to be bent and the bureaucrats can do it, but they have to know you. You know, they can't do it just, uh, you know, and put it in gold. They, uh, they have exceptions. No, they have to know you first. And so that's why it's good to know. And what's important about contacting anybody there, they lead you to something that's better that I didn't even find. <laughs> because it's not out yet, you know, and they're the ones to talk to you about. So that's why, to me, getting information and help uh, for your business is really still about, <coughs> it's a people business. I mean, there's too much information on the internet to, to make it of value unless you know exactly what you want.
And then if you know exactly what the name of the thing you want, <laughs> then you could get it. Like if you knew my name, maybe you could get me <laughs> or people impersonating me. But if you put in like uh, business grants, you get 57 million websites. And maybe I'm in there somewhere, maybe and I, you don't know the difference. And, <laughs> and everybody be there trying to get you money, and I'm probably one of them too, <laughs> because I, I, I sell my services also. So uh, go through that. Now let me go down to the end. I want you to, what I want to do is expand your mind maybe if you thought about this at all, because I think the key to starting a business is spending as little money as possible. So the, the, the less money you spend on starting a business, the longer you'll stay in business so you can figure it out. Yeah. And I want to go over some things I put in there about that. And by the way, in the first section, I put in a, uh, extra things besides the business help. I gave you about 20 or 30 programs in there that will help you with spending money. Whether it's for health care, whether it's for paying your pills, whether it's for your mortgage, all these kinds of a utility bill, all these kinds of things. So there's sort of like extra money to live on. You know, that are programs locally and, and in your county and your state. So that's in the first section, too. So they may not sound like business money uh, to you, but man, you know, it's cool stuff because it'll give you extra spending money. Money you don't have to spend on, you know, paying rent <laughs> is money you can put into your business. Uh, and, and that's important. So I show you all those programs. So that's why you're going to have to go through all this stuff. The most important thing, too, is under research. I mean, there's a group in there. Uh, it's called 211, and that's locally. And what that is, is somebody on the phone, somebody, you know, a, a database of only free stuff. See, what, what happened is uh, capitalism took over the Internet. <laughs> yeah, so Google runs by capitalism, right? <laughs> but 211 nobody sells any it can't your service has to be available for free or uh, you know so that's a government or a nonprofit organization so like here I, I did a sample you go down there and look at it where I put in mortgages now if you put in Google for mortgage you get 127 million websites 127 million to help you with mortgages you go to the 211 in your area you know and you get like a dozen I, oh, I'm sorry you get 75. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a lot less than 127 million. <laughs> and what's neat about 211, you could call them. You get on your phone. Hey, I'm not sure what to put in. Because every database depends on how they're keying it in. So if you have some 22-year-old keying in the information and they're putting it in what makes sense to them, <laughs> but you're a 72-year-old old fart like me, <laughs> it makes no sense to me. So I'll never find it under your words. Yeah. So that's why you could call. And you can't call Google to figure out what the hell they do. Yeah. <laughs> and you wind up spending money or, or the rest of your life trying to figure it out. So that's more important because you could put in anything there. I mean, you need health care, you need you know, uh, legal help, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you just put it in there and they, they hook you up with individuals and also your library. See, the library has access to databases that you can't get anywhere. See, they have a database there of 170,000 people who give out grants, okay? And they have about 10,000 that are for individuals. Now, those grants are given out by foundations, but they, they don't have websites. 95% of those foundations don't have a website, so you're never gonna find them. But the library spends your tax dollars to subscribe to an expensive database worth about 2000 bucks. you know, that they have it for you to use. And the librarians, they, I know how to use it, and they'll help you do it, and all that kind of stuff. So that's what's really cool about the library. So you forgot, and you have ask a librarian. Before you ask me, you should ask a librarian. They have a free service, or the text, or call, or, or tweet, or twat, or whatever. You know, you <laughs> <laughs> you can contact them. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to do, is show people that that's, uh, that you have alternative sources and you should never run out of anything and learn how to use your elected official. That's the most important thing because you as an entrepreneur there right now, I'll show, I, I give you the, the contact information. Your, your congressman, call them up. You're trying to start a business and, and you need help. Now, the other thing about your business, because it is a service, government contracts and this is better than getting a government grant because you get a, you have to learn how to get this learn the system to get the money right so if you learn how to get a grant and you get it once you probably won't get it again grants are like one of a time get you started you know 
but a contract is forever. You know, like my sister, she does about a million dollars in her garage out in the middle of Virginia somewhere, putting frames on <laughs> little awards that the bureaucrats get. You know? and, and so, but it's over and over again. So that's why you as a service, I think one of the most important things you have is uh, contracts, government contracts. You could do interviews for the government. You know, it may not be on the topic you want, but who cares? You know, you, you're doing work, uh, figuring out how to get uh, feed yourself and, and, and get money and independence to do it. And I show you how to do that with your your city, your county, your state, and the federal government. And there's grants even to help you do that. So go down to how to sell the government. You know, down there, and you'll see that uh, there's grants that help you do that. So they're giving you grant money to figure out how to get other money. Who else would pay you to? <laughs> <laughs> figure out how to get money from them. Imagine the car dealership, you know, <laughs> have a little office across the street that teaches you how to get a better price or something. <laughs> They're not going to do that, right? <laughs> but the government does. Now, who's the reason why? doesn't matter. <laughs> and also subcontracting, you know, the big corporations, they have to give a certain amount of their business to small uh, entrepreneurs. So you're a small entrepreneur that d does interviews and video and stuff like that. So they'll help you find who buys that. You know, and that's what's cool about that. Uh, let's go down to the end. I want to, uh, I'm sort of not positive what you're, you're trying to do from what we talked, but I see it, it's, um, you know, doing interviews, but I, I, and I'm not sure what they're about. But uh, you need the equipment to do that. Now, and you said the equipment was pretty expensive. So I'm trying to get you to maybe think about alternatives. This may or may not work for you. I don't know. But uh, think of this, too. Just Because the important thing, I think, about doing anything is just doing it. Not planning how to do it. You'll learn more by doing it and fumbling than planning. Because you, you could plan your Chotsky's off, you know, there's always a gazillion things to do if you're smart enough. And the more experts you talk to, you just find more things you should be doing, right? But if you just go out and do it, I mean, it's like learning to swim, you know, you can sit in the classroom all day, you know, and for 10 years and they'll tell you, you know, millions of things that can keep you longer because they get paid to. <laughs> but you'll never learn anything until you get your butt in the water, right, and see if it floats. Uh, so it's the same with doing anything in life. So the faster you can get there, and that's right. If the if 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 the uh, uh, your obstacle is getting money to buy all this equipment, ah, well, here I, I looked around where you live, and look. So you could go on Craigslist there and find a videographer. Okay, these people are all over now. Everybody, everybody's a videographer in this land of video. Everybody does video, and so. It, you can hire somebody for an afternoon. So you can line up the interview or something, get a videographer, you know, you pay them whatever it is. You know, uh, you know if you had to pay them a few hundred bucks, if it's a half a day or something like that, that looks like the going right down there. But, or you can get a student at a, a fraction of that if you look around and you get it done. Because now it's getting customers is what life is all about. It's not so much the production, it's getting the customers. Okay, also look, look at something called Thumbtack down there. You could get a video. I even put in, I needed a videographer down in Greenville, you know, and uh, I went on Thumbtack. That's where uh, professionals are that will come and do it. And, and, and actually, now here's an interesting thing. You could put your stuff on there. You are an interviewer. And you could hook up and, and, and do that yourself. And now to edit the stuff, man, this is what I use for editing. I go to a place called, called Fiverr.com and I show you here in Upwork. And I get people all over the world that edit things a lot cheaper than anybody in here do it, does it. Because all this stuff is digital. You send it over, they do it, they come back. And because it even it's so inexpensive, even if they do it wrong, it doesn't matter. You do it twice is still a fraction of the cost uh, that it's done here. So there's always options like that. Uh, also, you could rent equipment for a sh shoot. There's a, a, an organization down there that will rent this thing. So that's why instead of buying and investing just to get it done, you go out and rent it for the day. You know, and, and that way you have the equipment. Okay, now here's another thing. Like I said, I'm not sure what you know kind of interviews you want to do but i think it may be worthwhile that you like doing interviews okay well you say you're an interview producer you produce interviews for people because in other words the trick is i think in life is doing something that you really love to do and also figuring out how to get paid for it 
okay? So if you love doing interviews and say maybe you want to do it for movie stars or whatever, but you don't know how to get paid for that or something like that. Well, okay, take your interviewing skills and market to people who may want to buy interviews. So I put some list of some ideas here, you know, because the video market is booming. I mean, because the internet, anybody could do it. Look at me. I'm not writing a book anymore. I'm talking to you. I'm doing a video. I have a little cheesy camera here doing it. And, it, and I interview people all over the world on Skype. You know, so I get an interview, I get a nice camera on me, I do a Skype interview with somebody, you know, uh, halfway around the world, I get their video and they put it into my video and they do edit. And I do all that for about $30, you know, so that's my interview with people all over the world. And my camera is like 500 bucks, I think, or something like that, you know, uh, and it's good enough for quality broadcast anywhere on the internet and everything. And how you get it, and, and I guess that was edit, edited for like 30 bucks or something. <laughs> it's amazing. So here, I mean, see, like where you live now, people would like videos. I mean, you could go to businesses all over there and, and your business development center will help you get lists of businesses, you know, uh, that, that want to promote their products. Maybe interview the, 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 um, the presidents of, uh, of businesses. Or maybe restaurants, you interview their customers. Maybe you have interview night, you know, that you go around the... the uh, uh, the tables or whatever and set up your camera and maybe even live stream interview that now this is on their website of people enjoying meals you know uh, and they're getting interviewed uh, and it just it creates excitement in a business uh, government officials you go to government officials and they have new programs new whatever so you'll do those interviews so they could put them on the the internet you know so see so you come with a package sure anybody could do it with a camera but no <laughs> but if you work for a bureaucracy you don't want to do it. <laughs> you just want to pay somebody to do it. That's how we go. We're all in the shoe shine business. We all can do it, but it's so nice to give somebody five bucks and sign my shoes. <laughs> but I could take five dollars to get shoe polish for the rest of my life. <laughs> but we're in the service businesses. So everybody wants video content for their blog. So I think you could be the person possibly uh, doing uh, 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 videos. Now, here's another uh, possibility for that is team up with videographers in your area. Okay, the videographers in there, and, and look at, I, I, I Google where you are there, and, and there's all these videographers. So people tell them video services, but they probably don't have anybody who likes to interview, right? So you could do a combination, you know, with these videographers, say, okay, you're getting uh, clients, I will, you know, if you have any of them want to do interviews, I do it. And then you do the other same way. So you work up, you, you're looking for people you want to interview and get business and you give them the video part and you're doing the interview part. Then you don't have to worry about that other stuff. So it's a way, because they're all set up to do it. They know how to do it easier. And, and, and you just in charge of finding the customers you want to interview, see? Now it's all about who, how you're going to get them to pay who pays for that and, and that's the important thing uh so that's now here i have another thing is see i think you can make a business out of anything even <laughs> traveling in a canoe in the inland waterways so look at that video when you have a chance and it shows you how you could expand your mind what your bright idea you have and you think you can't get paid for it yeah, I bet you can, because if you get paid for it, then you write off most of your life as a tax write-off. And that's what's neat about life. If your life is a business like Donald Trump, he doesn't have any private jets. They're all business jets. Nobody has a private jet. That'd be stupid. <laughs> you pay it with before tax money, not after tax money. So watch that if you really want to uh, try to spread, stretch your mind a little bit more and uh, and look at the other videos because that's that other stuff. I show you how to get so much money on that. Um, other ways of doing it, particularly the meetups. Look about meetups. You could go right there in Greenville and meet up with young entrepreneurs like yourself, uh, women entrepreneurs or whatever, and find out how people are doing it, how they're getting businesses. You talk to them and, and they become your clients even because they need somebody to interview or whatever. I mean, it's getting out there, getting feedback. Um, I think we're our own worst enemy because we don't know our options. And we think there's only A, B, C, and the alphabet goes up to 24, not just three. <laughs> and finding those other ones. And that's what takes work. <laughs> okay, watch you. Watch, oh, well, watch me. I, I can't see you. <laughs> watch me in the next video. Bye.